What is going on guys, my name is Sander and welcome back to another episode of the Productivity Corner Podcast. Today, as I look at my notepad, the last pre-recorded episode, uh, I quickly want to talk about what's your next move, right? So I thought of subjects this morning and I thought, hey, I'm going to make like four or five podcasts and uh, since we're going to be super busy, uh, let's pre-record them and let's talk about something. Let's talk about what's your next move because that's something I personally relate to right now. What's happening? 2022 is around the corner not that it matters but it's a new year new expectations new things that'll be happening for example i'll be hopefully graduating my bachelor's degree right i'll be finished with that hopefully like i said it's going to be determined by the things that'll happen in the next couple of months or i should say the new year and i'm not a person to say new year new me but uh it is nice to uh basically take it one year at a time and think hey what am i gonna do this year what do i want to what do i want to accomplish uh, this year what do i where do i want to be next year uh what person do i want to be and what is your next move right sometimes in life we get hit by things and we have to think what do we do now what do we do next this is a matter of anticipation can we anticipate what will happen and if that actually goes through or if we follow through with that what do we do what do i do what do i have to do what should i do what do i do when these things happen what happens if i lose my job what do i do and i don't mean you have a plan b a backup plan all the time but you have to know like hey I have to assess the situation, that's step one, right? We assess the situation, we think to ourselves, hey, I've lost my job, I, I, I will have no money coming in. Step two, solutions. What is the solution to this problem? Well, you have to get a new job. And then step three would be, what type of action can we take? What can we do? What are the practical things? I don't mean like, oh, talk about it with someone. What can we do to get to the new job? Well, we have to make applications, send them off and apply to new jobs, go to interviews, send off more applications just until we get that new job. And then plan four, obviously, is get your life back on track, right? That's a clear example of the four steps or three, four steps that I would personally partake in uh, to basically solve the problem, find a solution, anticipate, uh, stuff like that, right? So what's your next move? You have to know, like sometimes people are just mindlessly going through their lives. Like, yeah, I'm just saving saving money saving money for what oh i'm just studying studying to studying to do what yeah i'm just you know working right now if it's just a summer job summer job to get money to do what exactly if it doesn't have a point then why are you doing it you know that that's my honest true question sometimes people are 15 16 17 in my country and they work there they work so hard they do everything like they have a job at mcdonald's at the supermarket at the grocery store at the the the, the hardware store and then in the weekends they go and pluck stra- the, the gather strawberries and then they, they they have a side hustle where they deliver uh, packages like i'm just like yo this kid is working like 60 hours a week right and you're 17 what are you gonna do with all the money if you have a plan then why would you work so hard to do that thing like yeah i get it if you have a plan you want to buy a car when you're 18 and you're 16 you want to maybe start working your ass off so you can buy that nice car but if you don't have a specific plan then what's the point what's the point in literally burning yourself out over something that you don't even have an idea what you want to do afterwards what's the point of working 70 years without a plan what's the point in that right so you have to know what's your next move what do you want to do with this? What is step B of the plan, right? Which is interesting because sometimes people say like, what do you want to do after you graduate? I'd say like 90% of the people around me doesn't even know. They say, I'll probably work. What do, you, what do you mean probably? What else are you going to do? You're not just going to roll in your own business and make a million bucks. Like it's just not going to come falling from the sky. You're not just going to magically have a YouTube channel. You're not just magically going to going to get offered all these jobs. If you don't have a plan, you're just going to roll automatically into the next possibility, which is probably work. Because if you don't work, you can't move out, you can't buy groceries, you can't do anything, right? So you have to make money. So what will you do? You'll have the degree and you'll just go work just like everybody else, right? So if you want to do something different, 
if you want to be a little bit more, if you want to get a little bit extra, you have to anticipate, you have to have a plan. Because if there's no plan, you're just going to automatically roll into the system. And the system is good at one thing, and that's doing what the system does, right? It's just literally making sure you have a job, you get a nice wife, you may have some kids maybe, and you have a nice house, you know, just just all that kind of stuff, which is not, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I wouldn't mind that at all. But the problem is if you want it to have something different, if you want to not have that, you have to anticipate and you have to have a plan. So what is your next move? I'm asking you right now, what is your next move? What are you doing next? What if you finish this degree? What are you gonna do? What if you get that thing you want? What's next? What if you buy that car? What's next? What are you gonna do with it? What is it gonna help you do? What, what are the possibilities? What's next? What's afterwards? Okay, right, so you're gonna finish high school. What's next? Where are you going? How are you going there? Where are you gonna live? What's your next move? What you're gonna do? You, you get the point, right? You have to have some sort of plan. And the people who do not have a plan tend to go for the automatic options, which are probably the easiest solutions to the problem, which are great. Those are great solutions because that's why they're obvious. That's why they're automatic. But long term, they're probably gonna make you miserable because if you literally want money right now and you say, hey, I'm gonna work at McDonald's to fix my issue, but you don't actually get out of that job, then you're gonna be working at McDonald's till you're 50 years old. And there's nothing wrong with working at McDonald's, but that's not really gonna you know, get you the best. It's not really gonna put you on top of society. It's not really gonna help you unless obviously you are a high paying person at McDonald's, obviously a high paid manager or something, then obviously you will, right? So it's very dependent on the fact what do you want and how are you gonna go get that? How do you anticipate to get that? And that's what people tend to do wrong. They have no plan. And I get it, it's hard, you're young, I'm young, it's hard to have a plan. It's hard to really think, hey, this is what I wanna do. It doesn't have to be set in stone. It doesn't have to be the thing you end up doing. It's the idea, the, 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 the fixed plan you have that's gonna propel you, it's gonna pull you, I should say, because obviously it's in front of you, it's gonna pull you towards it, it's gonna make you strive for something. You have a goal, you have a vision, you have a reason to live, right? You have a reason to do what you're doing. And if things get hard and you do not have a reason for what you're doing, you will quit. I can guarantee you that 100%. I can guarantee you that 100%. If you have no reason to do what you're doing and it sucks, you will stop. Who wouldn't do that, right? But if you have that reason, if you have that dream, if you wanna say, hey, I wanna get my family out of depth, you're not gonna quit your job, no way no matter how hard it gets, right? Because you have that outside thing that's pushing you, that's pulling you, right? It's keeping you in place. And that's why you need to know what you're gonna do next. Not knowing what you're gonna do next is, 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 is fine, right? It's fine, but if you're not trying to at least figure out what that is, what that should be, that's when it becomes a problem. It's okay not knowing what you should do, what's your next mo what your next move is. But when are you gonna figure it out? If you're not actively trying to figure it out, then what's gonna happen next? How do you know what you're living for? How do you know what you're building towards? If you don't know what that is, it's gonna be very hard to keep track of it. It's gonna be very hard to measure it, to consistently put in more effort, to consistently propel yourself forward to achieve that goal, to talk about it with passion, to live a passionate life. And that's why you should try and at least figure out, hey, what is it that you wanna do? And I don't mean I want that specific job at that specific company, but what do I wanna do? Or what do I do, what, what do I not wanna do? And that's when things start to look good because that's when you have a dream, a vision, and you know it, you feel like you know yourself, you feel like you can do things, you can feel like you can take on the world, you have a reason to keep going, you have a reason to fight and to do what you do. You will talk about it with passion and people love that. People feel attracted to watch you, right? You might get a nice boyfriend, a girlfriend. You might attract the right people into your life that share this vision with you, the right environment, and all of a sudden your life goes from looking shitty and gloomy to very, very good, very, very good, because you now know why you're doing all this. And that's a reason that you can keep going. That's it, guys. Sorry for the passionate rant, but geez, this is important. Thank you for listening to this episode and I'll catch you guys next week, 7 p.m. GMT plus one on Thursday. And I'll see you guys there. Peace.